Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this. Um, I have request. This is a painting I did a few years back, and uh, a couple of students have asked me to do it again. So I think because it's easy, <laughs> they want to do it. Anyway, all right, let's do the sky, a light wash of Iridian yellow, and then uh, a splash of raw sienna on there. Then I mixed a little bit of the Quin Aquadone Sienna into that, uh, into that raw sienna color to get that brownish color for the barn itself. So we'll paint the barn. Uh, it's much lighter on the right side, but we'll get back to that and paint the dark later. Okay, so the front of the barn, leave the roofs white. The, the roofs are covered with snow. Uh, dropping in a little color there. <clears throat> and there's some uh, color in the back side of the walls. Now the front, uh, this, this side of the barn is getting a lot of reflection. It's a white barn. So it's getting a lot of reflection from the snow, which is very cool. So I'm going in with a little bit of phthalo blue and on the roofs where there's no, these roofs have a little shadow on them. So I'm just taking that same uh, Windsor blue, very light, very light wash, but uh, it's, it's reflecting all that light, cool color bouncing around. Uh, I put a little drop of rose in that one, but so you can let that come down. All right, picking up the drips here. It's just uh, restating a little bit of that blue to get a little cool wash there. All right, taking a little bit of um, quinacridone sienna, mix with some raw sienna, and just going into the valleys with it, you know, creating that fence. There's some shadow behind that fence. Uh, but this, you know, this dirt showing from under the snow, and it's, uh, it's that nice warm color. All right, just throwing some raw sienna here uh, to get the, uh, you know, the little uh, crevices and hills of the snow. And there's a little grass sticking out, dropping in some darker color. Same color raw sienna mixed with quinceana, getting some of the dark uh, little valleys of snow where the grass is peeking out. Uh, and then down here, I'm just restating, uh, just at the edge of the snow where, where, it, where it goes down and it gets a little darker shade. All right, the side, this side of the barn is, is much darker. It's not getting the bright sunlight. So uh, I'm just going in there with the same colors. This is just quinacridone sienna. Mix, I actually put a little drop of cobalt blue in there to cool it down because it's just the shadow side of the barn. I'll paint, might as well paint that chimney while we have it. Uh, I just did it with the same color. It's a nice warm color. And I'll just put a little drop of uh, cobalt blue into it. And a little bit of shadow under that eave. A little bit of shadow under there. Let it come down. Right, there's a couple of nice trees. They're just bare, but they add a little bit to the composition. So I'm just just putting in a little a couple of branches. There's no leaves on it. It's just the just the branches growing out of the snow against the fence there. All right, let's get the background trees in now. I'm, they're very warm. I'm, this is a very warm light. So the trees are uh, quinacridone sienna and a touch of ultramarine blue. And um, be, be careful, they'll leave a little bit of snow drift on the roof lines there. So go in with a dry brush and just, you know, uh, just rub it in.
you can see it's a very dry brush and just go all along the outline of the barn. And then once you get that, you know, you can mix some raw sienna into that, some, some more ultramarine. This is ultramarine blue mixed with the quincienna, so it's much darker. There's areas that are gonna be much deeper in the woods and they're gonna be much darker. So you just, you know, scumble it on and try to get some shapes of trees, especially on the, you know, on silhouettes on the top there. Uh, you can see I'm making it much lighter and then much darker uh, against the house here, against the barn. Just give you a nice sense of layers of trees. You know? mm. Those little details of uh, the, the fans, you know, these uh, exhaust fans are, uh, are fun. They're fun and they add a lot to the, to the composition as a barn, you know. Just, you can see now, just scumbling with a dry brush gives you a nice effect uh, as far as trees go. Okay, just work that as much as you want. Okay, we have a few, uh, a window and there's a big, big door below that's open into the, into the barn. A couple of more windows up top, I guess. Okay. Right, there's an edge, the edge of the roof uh, doesn't have any snow on it, so we'll bring that out. It creates a nice little line. Okay, a little shadow between the roofs there. Okay. So we're pretty much done. Uh, I think we, what we want to finally, we want to add some grass and trees and just, you know, broken branches and leaves coming up out of the snow here. And I'm just doing that with that same, uh, there's a little shadow there, that same color of uh, quinciana and raw sienna. Okay, thank you so much for uh, watching and I'll see you again very soon.